there welcome back to my channel my I'm name is right. stephanie what hey there welcome back to my channel and my name is stephanie and this is all about my life after gastric bypass surgery and today i want to show you what is in my fridge and what's in my pantry at 16 months post-op. I personally really don't like grocery hauls. I don't. I, I thought about doing them for you guys in the past, but I just don't like filming them and I don't find them very interesting myself to watch. But I do see that some people like them and I see the benefit of kind of knowing what people purchase. So I figured what I would do is instead a snapshot of what my pantry and what my fridge looks like right now. So you could see for real, not just like the nice things I'm buying for myself and then letting rot and I never eat, but like literally what is in my fridge right now. <laughs> so just quick housekeeping, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting my journey and supporting this channel. I can't believe that I'm slowly creeping towards a thousand subscribers at this point. It's just, it means so much to me to have everybody's support and encouragement on this whole journey that I'm going on. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I just ask that at the end of this video, if you do like this kind of content, if you like the stuff that I'm trying to put out there, that, you know, if you want to support me, that's the best way to do it. Hit the subscribe button and make sure you ring the notification bell so you know whenever one of my videos goes live. So now... Let's open my fridge and see what I've got in there right now. First and foremost, I always keep this up to date, at least I try, <laughs> to try to make sure that I know what I have that I want to start going through that's in the freezer that we need to make sure that we eat. I need to also make sure that I know what I have on hand in terms of the food available so that I'm not sitting here wondering what on earth am I going to eat. And then I always keep a running grocery list for several different places. So here we go. What? are we looking at here now just full disclosure i did go shopping yesterday so partially why this is so full so first and foremost i did some meal prep yesterday so i have uh, two really really large chicken breasts that i just diced up and cooked so that's ready for a couple of different meals one of which is tonight i'm going to use up my leftover tomatoes and some fresh mozzarella that i purchased and have kind of a chicken caprese type meal i'm really excited about that um, and then i have some homemade lasagna that i made as I knock everything over, um, with some leftover ground turkey, no, ground chicken that was in my freezer. Um, and I've been trying really, really hard not to waste food. So one big thing is that I've had all these like little bits of food that I needed to make sure to use. And lasagna seemed like the perfect thing. I had leftover lasagna noodles from Lord knows when the last time I had lasagna was, plus some ricotta leftover from a recipe and this ground chicken that was in the freezer that needed to get used, and little bits of uh, leftover jars of tomato sauce. I just threw everything together into the sauce. I made a, a really awesome, like, thrown-together lasagna, and I had that for dinner last night. So good. Um, it will go really far, though. Like, really far. <laughs> I had the tiniest little, like, piece of it. You need to be quiet, refrigerator. Thank you. I am trying to film. <laughs> I had the tiniest piece of it last night, um, and it was quite filling. So that, that will go pretty far. I may actually have to freeze some of it. And I have been testing out some different sh uh, sugar-free or low-sugar yogurts. Uh, my favorite is the Dan and Light and Fit. Um, but my store is slowly starting to like phase out the good flavors. So I did pick up some Chobani Zero Sugar. I had the strawberry one this morning and it's pretty good. It has a little bit of like that, you know, fake sugar aftertaste, but it really wasn't that bad. Um, and they were only a dollar. So there's that. I always have random hydration in here. Here's a Gatorade. Here's a pitcher of Crystal Light. Here's some juices. This is a diet ocean spray one gram of sugar was drinking a lot of that when i was sick <laughs> and then these new um these vus hydration they are non-carbonated um i don't know 
the kind of like Gatorade. I don't know how to describe those. <laughs> but I always have random bits of hydration in here other than water. We picked up some shrimp. So this is something that I'm eating off of for the week for lunch. So good. Sometimes I just get in like a super shrimpy mood. There's the cocktail sauce that goes with that. Sorry for this. I didn't realize. I never come from this angle. That's dirty. That gets cleaned this weekend. Um, and as you can see, Pizza! There is pizza in here. I got a mod pizza, kind of like the Subway of pizza. Um, they had a new flavor. They get seasonal like uh, toppings and stuff and so they'll usually have a promotional pizza and it was pretty cheap. The pizza is one of the best sitting with me. It is, um, you know, kind of like a, a fire done homemade pizza on a thin crust so it's more like crackery and less ready so that sits really well with me plus you get to pick your own toppings so I've always found that if I'm going to have pizza that works really well for me plus it was seven dollars and it was three meals because I've eaten it twice and there's a piece left still so that's why that's in here there's some leftovers I had steak and baked potato but again these things last me way more than they would have in the past uh, what else do I have down here is my cheese drawer. It's got various different types of cheese in it, and I eat a lot of different cheeses. I have plain Greek yogurt for mostly recipes, but sometimes I do eat it. And what is this one? Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese and um, sliced peaches are one of my favorite snacks right now. Everything else in here is stuff I don't use very often uh sauces random sauces that have been here for quite a while things like sugar-free teriyaki sugar-free pancake syrup just random things sugar-free jelly things that i sometimes have but not very often so there you go that's what's in my fridge Next up is my pantry. This is really just like protein station number one. Uh, that's mainly what is over here. This is our life. This has been our life since before surgery, but it's way more full now after surgery. Both my fiance and I drink Premier Protein and Fairlife and protein drinks constantly. It is both of our breakfasts in the morning, sometimes snacks. It's just something that we always have in the house. He's a big fan of beans. I really don't eat those much. But also here, we've got a lot of protein bars as well. Protein snacks. This is stuff I always have on hand. Fit Crunch also has these loaded cookies. Um, just FYI. Oh, this is... Oh, there's one left. Just an FYI, the stats on this aren't as good as the protein bars. They have like four times as much sugar in them as any other thing. Um, they are pretty good, but in all honesty, I didn't think that they were exceptionally better than just the protein bars themselves. So I won't be purchasing those again, but you know, it was interesting for the time being. And then this is my dessert corner. This is, oh my God, I need something sweet and I want something, you know, somewhat doable, somewhat healthy. So I've got these um, Atkins peanut butter cups. I really like these as a, a just a quick like peanut butter cup indulgence. I love these smart sweets, just like high fiber, low sugar candy. Love it. High key cookies, these peanut butter ones and a couple of ones I got from Costco. So good. I like having these things on hand, sugar-free Werther's. If I have a sweet tooth, if I have a need for something, I can just come over here and grab something really quickly and just curb that without making, I don't want to call it a bad decision, but you know, a decision that also might just make me sick. In all honesty, sugar and stuff makes me sick in certain quantities and certain types of things. And so having these things on hand that I know will curb a sweet tooth and I know won't give me dumping syndrome or won't make me feel really sick or just, you know, be way higher calorie and stuff than I actually need is just good to have on hand. I just really, I really feel like being prepared is the best way to get through this process. And then one of the other things I always have on hand are protein pastas. I haven't had this one. The rotini is new for me. I usually go for the uh, protein angel hair, which is on my, uh, on my counter, uh, because it, it sits really well with me. The angel hair is very thin pasta. It doesn't make me feel sick or bloated. Um, so I haven't tried the protein rotini yet but I'm gonna try that soon in a recipe and see how it is and then everything else is just you know vegetables coconut milk 
Garbanzo beans, one of my favorite things right now is making my own hummus. I am obsessed with making my own hummus. It is so easy and so cheap and so delicious. So I am having that like always on hand now. And last but not least is the main pantry cupboard here. This is where all the good stuff is, you guys. <laughs> this is where all the carbs are. <laughs> so right now, like I said, cottage cheese and peaches are my favorite snack right now, aside from hummus. Um, I've been getting them in the 100% juice, and that is because I don't ever really liked the stuff in syrup, even light syrup. I don't, I don't like the canned fruit and stuff in syrup, but I also don't really like to grab the ones that are packed in water. Um, I just don't really, it just, it tastes watery. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, 100% juice. It's, it's no added sugar. It is just in its own juice. And I find that to be perfectly fine. It does not cause dumping for me personally. And so I look at that as a fruit option. Although it is packed in juice, it's packed in its own juice. So it's not like an extra sweetened thing. It's just peaches and peach juice. So that has been working really well for me. It's the right amount of sweetness. It's perfect. It is a great snack, especially with cottage cheese, which gives me a nice protein boost. Also kind of curbs the sweet tooth. It's pretty nice. Now these crunchy snacks, we have a little more than normal because things were on sale. Um, I found these cottontail white cheddar cheese balls that we haven't even tried. We've had them for over a week now. We haven't even opened them. I have no idea even what the macros are on this. It doesn't really matter. Um, I buy things to try them and I'll have a few and sometimes like in the case of Fruity Pebbles up here that have been here for months and I just stop eating them and I don't go back to them because I don't like them that much or they're not worth it. So we'll see. <laughs> it was like $2. Um, but these, these are one of my new favorite things I found. Kapop. Kapop? <laughs> I don't know. This brand. Um, these are like super greens. They're, they're not regular things. Not regular greens. Um, it's still a crunchy snack. It's still carbs. You know, I'm okay with that, though. I don't restrict that. I, in moderation, I want this stuff. And I want something that I'm going to feel a little bit better about snacking on rather than, you know, like barbecue chips. So this sweet and salty kettle puffs is so good. And then I tried it. I'm trying a new flavor. We bought these sweet onion rings. They're kind of like Funyuns, I guess. Um, and then the other... Uh, flavor that I got once before was like a cinnamon churro. It was so good, but I didn't find that one. We got some beef jerky to have as also a protein high snack. We get these little fruit snacks. They're just dried fruit. So sometimes we'll, we'll gravitate, if you will, to those. And then all of the sugar-free, all the sugar-free pudding, sugar-free frosting that's been in here for months, if not a year, and I never use it. Random sauces, sugar-free cookies, things that are used way less often, but you know, they're there in case I need them. I also have wheat thins because sometimes I want some wheat thins with my lunch. Um, wheat thins and cheese is really good. Um, sometimes I want cheese. It's sometimes I just need that salty snack. So, I got some. <laughs> and then the only other thing is that there are some uh, graham crackers up here. And these graham crackers are because I am going to be making sugar-free cheesecakes, um, which I think, oh, they're falling. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm a mess. I'm going to be making mini sugar-free cheesecakes. And um, I have a can of sugar-free cherry pie filling that I'm going to put on top of them. Um, but with how expensive that is and what the ingredients are, I'm going to go for fresh fruit next time. <laughs> but I want to um, try something a little different. I want to want to see about making like individual small little sugar-free cheesecakes that have some decent macros. I used to cook a lot more. I used to really get into trying new recipes, trying new things. So I'd like to start to get into making some random recipes and random desserts and stuff just, just to see and get back into cooking and see, you know, what I can substitute for things that are a little bit better choice for me now. Um, especially when it comes to the sugar, especially 
so that I don't make myself sick on something that's too sugary, uh, but I still get to indulge in having, you know, a little cheesecake or something occasionally. So that's something I'm looking forward to doing this week or next. But there you go. That is basically everything that's in my pantry and in my fridge right now. So that is a snapshot. I can't really hide anything from you guys. That's how I am. This is how I have been proceeding with, uh, with everything, everything in moderation everything in moderation. I, I try really hard to not restrict myself from certain things, but I have noticed a huge difference when it comes to how often I turn to those things and how much of it I eat. So in the past, you know, things like wheat thins or chips would just barely last a couple of days. Um, but now they will last upwards of a week because I have small amounts at a time when I'm feeling it and putting balance in my life. And the balance is the key for me. So I hope this was insightful. I hope that it was helpful to see what my kitchen looks like, dirty and stocked and full of leftovers and messiness and real life. There you go. That's my real life. So as always, stay happy and healthy. Always make sure to look at the big picture and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.